the Morocco coach talks of pride and honour and you feel for them because they've actually had two very good games at this World Cup. Unlucky to concede uh, an own goal in the 94th, 95th minute against Iran and then, you know, played well against, uh, against uh, Portugal as well. What I like about them is that they've had a go. You know, they've tried to play expansive. You know, they, they play with a little bit more flair. They've got players in the team that are able, I, I spoke previously about uh, Mark Safa, the captain, you know, it, it's people research into his story. You know, he was at Ajax, he was at Chelsea for a long time. You know, he's had a good grounding, good education. Um, he's currently now playing the, in the UAE and I, I've seen him live. I've seen him train, I've seen him play. And he's a top player and, you know, he, he's a little bit of a talisman for them, but to most will be under the radar. But I've, I've liked the fact that they've, they've had a go. OK. Uh, we're just going to look at the lineups because we've just heard uh, some big news coming in. Some uh, names missing from the match. Uh, this is the Spain-Morocco match. We're going to have it on our screens and then we're going to talk over it as well. We're going to look at Morocco first because Captain Mehdi Benatia is not in the team. So there's a big change at centre-back with size coming on. Spain have made uh, one change. We'll get to that. But this is the Morocco team. Uh, just talking over it, uh, this is going to be a huge, huge blow for them losing the captain, uh, Eugenson. Uh, obviously, he, he's a big man for them. He's got, he's a big, big lad and he has defence. He controls the team going forward, or go, you know, at defence. I, I feel it'll be a big, big loss for the team. OK, let's, uh, let's look at what Spain have done. One change for them, Thiago comes in for Lukas uh, Vasquez and I'll uh, ask uh, Mary Holland to look at this team and, and tell us mostly the team which played the last game as well. Just one change. Uh, very, very settled lineup and uh, clearly is going for the win. And now with uh, Venatia missing, you would think that this is going to be easy for them. To be honest, you'd probably say that even if Venatia was in the team, you know, it's still going to be quite tough for, for Morocco. I mean, when you just look at the 11 players that are on the pitch without the lads that are sitting on the bench waiting to come in after half-time or after 60 minutes, it's quite frightening. Mm. You know, to, to drop Thiago in there, who's been exceptional this season, you know, he's great for the national team also. He was a lot of cries for him to start or every game. You know, but they just got so much quality, you know. What do you do? It, well... I don't really know unless you you know can you park the bus? <laughs> can you you know can you stop there a bus coming in? Yeah. You know, <laughs> they somehow it's, find a way of getting through, and that's Spain, isn't it, Eugene? Yeah, you know, yeah. they just find a way. It's it's an art for them. They pass the ball into the net. And they've got quality all around. You know, maybe the goalkeeper or up front Costa. They've all got different qualities. They can keep the ball very easy, even at the opener's half. But also, are you impressed with the way they've bounced back, uh, especially considering Lopetegui was sacked 48 hours before the game. There was a press conference a couple of days back and they said, listen, this was his team. What we're doing is basically following that template. So the players still have that hurt in them, but they've somehow managed to keep it aside. And this shows the kind of leadership which is there inside that group. That let's forget it, we're here to win the World Cup, let's get that job first. Yeah, that's the professionals that they are. They already know what is bigger at stake. So. The World Cup is more important. Am I, uh, emotions aside, that is more important. So they go ahead, being professionals that they are. And this, this is also another interesting one there. Who do you take your pick? You want to face uh, Uruguay in this form or you want to face Russia? Because that's the big one. That's after, the big one for these two teams. That's why they have to top the group. After tonight's game, you'd say you want to play Russia. Yeah. Um, you know, you wouldn't want to face Uruguay if these pair are now starting to really tick. And we have to keep in mind, will Tabarez stick with his system? Mm. It's easy to change it once. Yeah. Now is he, he's going to have butterflies now. Does he stay with this system and continue? Or is he going to think he's going to revert back? I, I hope that he'll stay with this system because yeah, it's but, clearly working. But he's working very rigid. You play the fluid teams, they usually set back. Uh, predictions for you? You think, uh, what do you think this way this match is going, Spain-Morocco? I'll be an easy win for Spain. Easy win for him. A number? My head will say 3-1 to Spain. I think Morocco will get a, get a goal. Uh, my heart, I'd like Morocco to win. <laughs> okay. <laughs>